Right, I've got some exciting things to show you now. We've got the Art Bar. This is a brand new range of product that we've developed. And what we're looking at here is a kind of water-soluble, wax-based bar. So it draws really smooth, yet it's water-soluble. So you can really wash it out, or you can make really thick, opaque paint with it as well. So let's have a look. I've snapped a bit of mango off here. I much prefer working with them in snapped off pieces because it gives you that whole flat edge there and the very fine edge on the uh, corners as well to work with. And of course, you've got all the corners at the ends. So what we're going to do, first of all, with the mango, because it's a nice pale colour, we'll be able to hide any mistakes <laughs> later on. We're going to just draw the basic shape of our image. I'm just going to give us a basic square frame, rough square frame. We're going to do a little coastline. Um, so we're going to take a bit of um, land coming in from the left hand side, a few sort of mountainous shapes there, some kind of bit of a cliff. I'll bring the coast in, a bit of a cove there. And then, so we've got something interesting going on in the foreground. We'll do a similar double cove, as I call it in the train. <laughs> so there we go. Basic outline. What we're going to draw, we're going to have the sea here, sky, and the land. So to start off, I'm just going to use the yellow, or the mango, sorry. And I'm going to start just blocking in little bits of colour around the coastline using the edge here so it's nice and light for the time being just so we can see what's going on just to give us a base of colour. There we go. So I'm going to pick up a piece of processed cyan. Look at you, that's ready, yep. And I'm just going to put some blue in across the sky. This is all just rough and ready at the moment, just so we know what's going on in our drawing. I'm also going to bring some of that colour into the sea area. Being quite loose with the marks. Right, I'm taking a piece of opaque white and I'm just going to work on top of this blue in the sky. Just to add some opaque white in there. So when we get to adding some water, it becomes more of an opaque colour than a clear wash. So that's added there. I'm going to take my brush and start painting into that sky. You can see there, because we've got the white in it, it's making it a much thicker paint, having two layers of colour there, rather than just the one. Lovely. Of course we can always go back over and add more in a little while. For now, I'm content with this. They've got a fairly nice sky blue happening up here. What we might do later on is add in a bit of cloud, give it a bit more atmosphere, but for now that'll do us, I think. Whilst we've got the brush out, I think we'll wet the sea area. So before we do that, I'm just taking a small piece of the dark indigo and I'm just going to add a bit of detail around the cove here. And again, Around the second one. I'm going to blend this into the sea shortly. I'm going to add in a few darker marks and then again use the white to just, I was going to say beef it out, but just to really. work into the paper there. Mm. 
Okay. Just nice loose marks we've got here. I'm going to take the paintbrush again and let's just start working this in. So we've got that nice dark, dark deep blue coming out here as well. And a good mix of colours in the sea. So this is just roughly wet in all the sea area, creating a little bit of movement there on the sea in different tones where there's different reflections happening on the water. And this is just, you know, the basic, the starting point for our sea, but it's good to get everything covered over. Whilst that's drying, I'm just going to take a little bit of cyan from the edge of the block and I'm just going to paint that into the sky there. Okay. This is where I'm going to actually start building up a lot of layers and really working the marks that you can create with Art Bar, really working up lots of layers into really thick, opaque colour. So I'm going to start with the beautiful mango colour. I'm going to go right into all of this. Still using the edge at the moment. I don't need any um, marks as yet. Just getting a good layer of that beautiful, rich colour down into the cove slightly. Okay. Around these cove bits, this is where I'm going to start working. I'm just going to be doing some quite loose and scribbly marks right the way around the side of the coast there. And I'm going to pick up the magenta and add a bit of that in. This is where you're realising I'm not going to be drawing a lifelike, <laughs> correct version of the coastline. This is, this is all about making marks, having fun with the art bar. So I'm using colours that you might not usually use, but I just want you to really have a good play around. So I'm going back over the top with the mango, mango yellow. You can see how you can really start to smudge the colours together here. And in doing so, we're mixing a beautiful orange colour. And we're starting to get a really nice feel to that coastline. I think it's time we added in a little bit more colour. I've got, I've got a piece of cactus. Add that in there as well. Slightly less at the top. And I'm just going to keep drawing the lines. I'm going to add, go back into the mango because that's the base colour of this and I'm going to keep going into that every time I add a new colour on, just getting it all to blend in together. See how really, really lovely and thick this is beginning to build up. In fact, whilst we've got the mango, I'm going to start going into this bottom area. What I'm going to do down here, this is where we're going to have fun and just really put in some texture not necessarily anything in particular, but it's going to look, bring us a bit of interesting uh, movement and texture down to the front of the image. I'm just going to start scribbling here. Let's take some cactus, scribble on top. I'm going to take the cyan, let's get on with that. It all looks a bit garish at the moment, I know, but by the time we've blended this all in, layer upon layer upon layer, it'll start to uh, become just part of the painting rather than a scribble. Okay, let's have a bit of that blue around there as well as I've got that. And maybe even a blue around the cove there. I quite like putting dark colours in and going over the top with lighter ones it means we can get a real good range of tones, really build up some depth to the colours that we're laying down. Okay, let's get 
back on the cactus. So we can go back over this. The great thing about this is it's unlike any of the other products we have because we can just go over the top. See, I might think, actually, I'm going to put a bit of white in here. So I go over with white, and there it is. Fantastic. Or I can really start working in with the white, blending those colours in, like at the top here. Let's get a bit of the mango. And I'll actually start blending that as it goes further away from us. Just blow those bits out the way. So everything's starting here to come together a bit, I think. I'm blending that beautiful mango into these marks at the bottom. So whilst we've got the mango out, let's intensify the area at the top. If you get bits where it becomes dirty, just wipe it on another piece of paper and you're nice and clean again. Then we're going to put a little bit of white up here, give us a bit of light as well. Okay. I think we should maybe put a little bit of water around those coves. And then maybe go back over the top again with some dry marks. Okay. Whilst that's... Oh, we're just thinking about what to do next. I'm going to move on to the mountains. Again, I'm going to start with the old mango. It's the favourite colour in this piece. <laughs> Add a little bit of light on the left-hand side of those mountains there, on the top edge of the cliff. Whilst we're not being accurate, gives us a chance to add a bit of blue, bright blue there. Nice and vibrant. I tell you what, a bit of magenta, why not? I take that there. And then I'm gonna well, blend that magenta and yellow together on that side, get a lovely orange. So it's glowing. And then we'll take a piece of the really dark blue, the dark indigo start adding some shadows in. Hopefully this will make them come alive. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's get those there. We're going to run that dark blue right along the bottom there. Okay, and then probably a little bit of shadow there and there. Right. So I'm going to go into the mountains and what I'm going to do actually is just spray them from quite a height just to dampen them. And I'm just going to gently move that paint around, really create some beautiful colours mixing up around where the colours join. I'm not going to go too berserk with the water, just adding a little bit here and there. can go back to them in a little while when they're dried. I'm just going to wet that yellow, bring that out a bit. And that yellow there. We'll leave that to settle a little bit and then we'll work on top again. Right, I think we need a little bit more texture down the bottom here and I think we'll just add some white into these areas of the coves. great from this bit. I think we'll start using a couple more of the accessories actually. Maybe down the bottom here we might scrape in a few scribbles and lines. So many layers, you never know what colour is going to come up next. The nice thing to do also, we can scrape in and then go over the top and <laughs> see what happens. It's all about just really experimenting with this. 
seeing what we can achieve. Yeah. Take the little zigzag lines, I like those as well. Okay, let's get some white on there, a little bit of cactus into the bottom corner. And I'm just going to keep adding some bits. I think maybe actually what we could do with down here is a little bit of the printing. This I'm going to use, in fact why not, let's take a piece of the magenta what I'm going to do is wet the magenta uh, on one of the sides and I'm going to actually use this to add a little texture down the bottom there. So I'll let it work into the side of the bar slightly. It's not too much water, we don't need to go mad with that. I have a brush ready just in case you want to do a little bit more and I'm just going to print right on top of our marks down the bottom here. Let's perhaps add a little bit more onto there. And perhaps even whilst we're doing a little bit of that, we'll take that dark indigo and work in around, working around where the magenta is. So I'm just going to go walk on, work over some of the parts. And then we've got some large areas of magenta. Get that working together. Okay. What else should we add to this lovely drawing? Well, since I've got blue in the hand, I think maybe we should try a little bit around the sea. So I'm going to just gently put in some lines gently around the shadowed area. I'll just do the horizon a bit more obvious. And maybe some waves out here. I'll take the cyan as well, I think. Add some in with that. And then a bit of white over the top. And then I think we'll take the spritzer and we're going to spray from really close in. What we're hoping to achieve here is a bit of dispersion. So the, the water is going to go into the pigments we've just drawn and it'll pick it up and just start spreading it a little. So let's get in there. See what effects we can create. And you see it starting to work there. Ooh. Beautiful. Actually, I don't want that to go right into the sky, so I'm actually going to pull that down a little with the brush. A bit more of a straight line. You never know what you're going to get when you start spraying water, but the thing is, if you don't like what you achieve, we just simply go over the top. I'm just going to dab that there. Dramatic. Okay, whilst that's working, I think I'm just going to go in with a bit of white along the bottom, just to calm things down slightly. Just some scribbly marks. Whilst we're there, actually, I think that could do with a bit of brightening up. Let's that on there. Okay. Possibly a bit of cactus further up the beach. 
clean that mango off and really attack that area there. Go back to the white and just blend that in together. Okay, then just maybe a little finishing touch on the mountain. We'll have a little bit of white coming over the top there. And well, let's take the mango, it's been the popular colour. I'm just going to scrape this into the shave and save. In fact, whilst we're there, I'm going to do two colours at once. Let's be daring. A bit of cactus as well. I'm not going to make a paint out of this. I'm actually just going to take the pieces and scatter them on the top. Yeah. Mainly down that area. I'm going to give them a very light mist. And then just work them with my finger on top. Just give us a little, a third dimension of texture. There we go. Right, let's add some clouds to the top. Maybe a few little dark ones coming over the horizon. I think we'll paint some deep in dark indigo straight from the, bro the block itself. I'm going to go into there with a piece from the white. And actually, let's get this softened out a bit. A bit of cloud there. Let's take the white, not on the wet side. I'm just going to add a bit of cloud up here. We'll take a little bit more of the dark indigo and add it on this left hand side, I think. There's a bit of difference to the sky area. Rub that in there. Bring it all together with the white. Let's go into that wet area there with the white as well. Just to bring that together. Tidy up the horizon where the sea meets the sky. Okay, one final thing to do, which just might finish it all off for us. Let's just take the dark indigo. I'm just going to draw right round it. We've got a frame for our piece. So there we go, that has pretty much tried out everything we can do with Art Bar. We've put it all together and I think we've come out with a pretty interesting piece. So have a go, really get, get hold of some of these and really just get stuck in with them. Just try out all the different techniques that you can think of, try layering them up, see how they work when they're really thickly layered, how they work when they're fine, when it's fine and thin washes, fine lines, texture. It's all about making different marks. That's what this is. Just see what you can come up with.